We stayed two nights at the Serata Beach Resort and Conference Center on St. Pete Beach in Florida. The resort is nicely laid out with several buildings on the property and it's just steps from the white sand beaches of the Gulf Coast. The resort has two beach bars, Harry's and Rum Runners, and a very nice restaurant, the Compass Grill. This is where you check in, registration. This is the lobby area of the building we were staying in. The Compass Grill is a seasoned American dining destination which delivers an exceptional culinary experience. Time to take a walk down to the Guy Harvey Outpost. The Guy Harvey Outpost features Tampa Bay's newest destination restaurant, the Rumfish Bar and Grill. The Rumfish Bar and Grill is a fully immersive experience where visitors can eat, drink, shop, and explore. The educational wall at the Rumfish Grill is lined with plaques offering information about the marine life inside the tanks. The restaurant's main attraction is a 33,500 gallon aquarium that encompasses the entire wall of the dining room. The aquarium was built by Wade King and Brett Raymer of Animal Planet's hit series Tanked and was featured in the show's hour-long season finale. This tank features fish that are indigenous to Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Got a parade going on here. This one likes us. Backwards is sitting there. 2,400 pounds of salt is mixed every month to create this exhibit. And this is St. Pete Beach, the sunset capital of Florida. Unfortunately, it was a bit cloudy when we were there. In 1994, the citizens voted to shorten the name from St. Petersburg Beach to St. Pete Beach. This was to lessen the confusion with the city of St. Petersburg, located to the east on the mainland. You know it's a good day when you find yourself relaxing on a hammock. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in La La Land right now. This could be happy for me. Back to our hotel, the Serata. This is Harry's, one of the two bar and grills at the resort. The Serata has several pools too. We had lunch in the other bar and grill, Rum Runners. Enjoying some lunch at the Rum Runners uh, Grill at the hotel. The bar and grill. Bar and grill. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 that's a video. Thank you. Got a really good burger. Got a good view. Got a great view. The pool, hot tub, and rum runners were all open, but not very busy on a Thursday night. This is Level 11 Rooftop Artesian Bristol Bar. It's located on top of the Grand Plaza Hotel in St. Pete Beach. This is looking towards the south end of St. Pete Beach. This is the main pool area 
with private cabanas and covered lounges. Located right next to the pool is Rum Runner's Bar and Grill. Here's the other bar and grill, it's called Rum Runner's. This is the first time I ever played this game, so let's see how many times it will take me. I sped this up a little to save some time. When all was said and done, I managed to do this in only 11 tries. If you don't believe me, roll it back and watch it again. I think that's pretty good for a first timer. Rum Runners has live entertainment on the weekends and is a really nice place to hang out. On the other side of the resort is another pool and Harry's Beach Bar and Grill. Well, it's time to move on to our next exciting adventure. Be sure to stay tuned for a sneak peek. Be sure to watch our next exciting episode, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Beach Resort in Hollywood Beach, Florida. We show you our room, which was over the top Jimmy Buffett style. The resort has everything you need including a coffee and t-shirt shop. We walk through the resort and pool areas. We check out the resort's flow rider. We take a walk on the boardwalk and beach. We meet some of the friendly staff. And we check out the 5 o'clock somewhere bar and grill. Be sure to watch our next exciting episode for this and much more.